what is up guys random crypto update here going to talk about coinbase earn and tezos i'm going to talk about eos rex and cpu usage and stellar lumens so let's get into this so coinbase earn added tezos to it so you can add earn about um basically about six dollars worth of tezos if you watch some videos and stuff like that now it's been really annoying for me because you can earn up to $130 worth of crypto through the Coinbase Earn program, but it's like if your account is too old or you've pumped too much money through your account, then you can't earn that $130 worth of, of the crypto. So I'm always eternally put on a wait list, and you're probably saying, well, Brian, why are you concerned about $130 worth of crypto? Because I want more crypto. There's never enough EOS. It's never enough Bitcoins, never enough Litecoins. Uh, the more you have, the better off you're gonna be in the next couple years and it literally could set you up for life. And uh, maybe you're thinking, well, stop blowing 93 octane in that Audi S8. Uh, but, <laughs> and that is, a, that is a plausible recommendation, but uh, I gotta have some fun sometime. Anyway, going back to the Earn program, it's, um, you know, you, you can get on that Coinbase Earn and you can watch the videos and stuff like that, but they have to send you an email first and I've just been on the wait list the entire time. So that's annoying. So check that out if you're not aware of that. You Maybe you've already earned some BAT, maybe you've already earned some EOS through the Coinbase Earn program, but now you can earn a little bit of Tezos. And it seems like that Coinbase set it up so that you can do the staking and earn from staking your Tezos on the Coinbase platform. Um, and that's part of the reason that the price spiked so much. Now, I have never done a deep dive on Tezos. It is a delegated proof of stake chain. I'm not really sure exactly what it is capable of, um, but I do want to do a comparison of it to EOS at some point uh, and really kind of dig into it. I just know they had so many governance issues I've never had any Tezos. They've had so many governance issues like early on that I kind of just kind of put it to the side. Um, but it has effectively, you know, been put on Coinbase and um, put on Kraken and all that kind of stuff. So there has to be something to the buzz, so to speak. Now about Stellar, there is a new decentralized exchange called Stellar X that I keep seeing advertised and. Basically, you have free trades on there, and there's a lot of trading pairs against the Stellar Lumen, and there is also a few trading pairs against Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin, um, but there's lower liquidity on those markets. It seemed like there was higher liquidity on the Stellar uh, trading pairs, and there is a troll box. I have not tried it. Has anybody tried out Stellar X, Decentralized Exchange? Um, kind of shout out I'd seen a lot of advertisements floating around on that um, okay now on to EOS EOS Rex and CPU usage so that EI DOS or whatever EDOS or whatever uh, situation is still going on where there's a lot of CPU usage I keep kind of going in there and you know doing some of the transactions and getting a little bit more uh, each day, I just kind of been playing around with it, and then I started thinking in my mind, I'm like, well, does it make sense to unrex my EOS essentially, sell the rex back to EOS, and how much have I earned? And so I did the calculations, and it seems like I've earned about 16 additional EOS if I sold right now since May, since mid May. Um, now that doesn't sound like much at current prices and stuff like that, but my whole thing is always stacking more EOS. So, you know, like when I sold sold my Telos, sell, sold my POs, sold all these different tokens, all these airdrops for more EOS and the SOV airdrop, sold that, you know, sell all these things. I just kept primarily just selling them for more EOS. And then it's just like, now I've got more EOS so I can earn more EOS uh, through the Rex and um, just keep stacking. So let's say it's an additional 16. Let's say I unrex it right now, and then I use a lot of that liquid EOS and like pump up my CPU because yeah, I could I could buy some more EOS and bring in like outside funds and um, you know 
get my CPU way up so that I could uh, kind of do the whole EDOS mining like on a heavier level. Um, but I'm thinking I want to kind of keep it where I'm, I'm working off of the same base, like the same investment, and I keep stacking more EOS based on the same investment instead of keep bringing in more money, more money, more money. Unless the price gets low enough and I buy more, but um, I want to keep working out of that same kind of core holdings. Uh, so I was thinking about doing that, and what are your guys' thoughts on that as far as because Rex prices are up, then I would think, well, I could sell Rex, I could stake more CPU with, with the liquid EOS, I'd have more um, EOS than I began with, obviously passively earning that additional 16. And then if Rex prices went down, well, I would just rebuy into the Rex and I would be essentially in a better position. Um, this is what it seems like to me, but then I'm like sitting here thinking, well, maybe is it better if I just keep earning from the Rex and then that's passive? Or could I, you know, write a script and just be cranking out all these 0.0001 uh, transactions to that EDOS contract? and then selling the EDOs out on new decks. Uh, that's kind of one of the things that I'm thinking. What do you guys think about that? Has anybody done the calculations on um, you know, how much it would get you? Because EDOs is going for like less than two cents. And then it's just like, well, I was like calculating on the one account, but it was like I was getting 0 0.06 EDOs each time I did one of those transactions. But if I did this on a higher level, it's like how many transactions could I get? You know, if I had thousands of EOS staked to CPU and then, um, you know, essentially could just keep extracting more and then, and then just selling it, um, you know, on new decks. But what do you guys think about that? Also, once again, have you guys used the Stellar X decentralized exchange? Is it legit? Um, you know, how does it work? Does it have wallet services internal to it? Or is it kind of like bit shares where you kind of send to it and then it goes through the order book and then it kind of comes out the other end sort of thing. Um, and then also, have you guys been able to earn the Tezos off the Coinbase Earn program? Or are you guys eternally locked out of it and always on a wait list for all that stuff like I am? Anyway, guys, follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos, YouTube, Instagram, Steam it, Twitter. See you guys later.